Hi friends, welcome to the part 22 of this tutorial series where we will be working on the backend section for the comments. And before I do that, I created this logout route here directly in the default route section. And I did not create it in the controllers because this is just a single function. So I chose to create it here using the get function so that you know how to create routes directly in the routes uh, file okay so i'm calling the logout function on the request object and displaying a message and redirecting the user to the home page okay so if i go back here right and log in okay and click this logout button it gives me this modal and i and i think if i click on logout i'm logged out okay so you have to change the url the link to this forward slash logout url okay i created this new li in the home navigation and it will be only displayed to the logged in user so let me just show you back to home so you see this logout button here if i click this i'm logged out okay perfect so let's work on the admin backend and for the backend I'm gonna create a new, uh, let's go back here. Admin section. Okay. It should be a site nav, admin footer, admin header. Okay, categories, we have the categories here. So let's create another li it will be my comments okay this will take me to my to the admin slash comment url which i need to create okay i'm gonna close the default controller default route and the top navigation i'm gonna open admin controller in admin route so I need to create my <coughs> admin comment routes. Okay. So router dot route. This will be comment. Okay. Get will be admin controller dot get comments something like that let's go back here comment route section so we get comments yep we'll have a request a response object okay So, if you if you see uh, my common model, I have this user uh, property as well that is pointing to my user model. Okay, I want to populate that as well here. I'm gonna refer to the common uh, model here, so I can use it. Comment. Okay, this will be comment okay <clears throat> so first of all I want to find all every comment that is present in my database also I want to use a function called populate so this will populate the corresponding user which I'm referring to in my in my model okay and then it will give me all comments if I have any and I want to render a default page that is admin comments index which I am yet to create okay so I'll pass the comments that I have to the view okay so now let's go ahead go ahead and create the view here so I'm gonna create a new directory say comments 
and create a new handlebar file make sure you put the dot handlebars extension my id does that for me so <clears throat> it will be a very simple code so i'm going to type it manually so I'll create a row first this is a bootstrap class inside that i'm going to create a container to center everything and i'll have two columns uh, in fact I, I will have one column that will be centered somehow okay i'll give it 10 it will be 10, 10 column white columns wide inside this i'll create a table okay and i'll give a few classes table bordered is good text center and text white see how it appears and the t head be dark so that will have a row with head elements uh, id then the <coughs> owner or author or uh, let's say publisher and prove comments and then the date when it's published and the comment body next we have the t body section okay this will have a class of text dark and inside this i'm going to loop through each comments that i'm passing to the view okay and my each block will end here uh, i missed the hash okay cool so now what i want to do i want to repeat rows okay and this will have id this will have for the for the own publisher i'll use the user object okay if you remember i declared that here my configuration file so it's available throughout the project okay uh, so user dot first name user dot last name and let's style it bit with auto okay next I want to display the <coughs> Uh, approve comment section so let's leave it for a moment next will be my date be my date uh, let's say date and body body okay so currently I don't have any comments so I go back here refresh the page okay Sorry, I have to log in first. Click on comments. I have no comments there. Okay. So what I can do, I can go to my uh, database and create a new collection. Collection. Name it comments. Okay. Create a comment. Insert document. What I want. I want uh body this is a test comment next what i want i want uh let's say user okay we'll leave it as it is uh, test user okay date today and comment is approved this will be a boolean 
flow okay insert so if I refresh now let's see if it works or not uh, I know it gave me an error because I was not able to find that user I believe yeah okay so let's bind it to one of the user object user IDs okay I'm gonna create this for John Doe okay uh, comments uh, this should not be a string this should be a object ID okay update now if I go back here and restart the server let's see if, that, if this works or not so this is a date time again it might give a wrong value uh, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to app go to post and copy this comment this will be your date Okay. update all right let's see if I log in again okay perfect so now I see the up comment ID the publisher of this comment this is yet blank because I need to import a couple of uh, packages from from bootstrap this is the date and this is the body right so our backend is almost done so in the next uh, part we will work on the front end and we'll see how we can uh, register comments from the front end and that should appear here including the approved comment switch okay so till then please uh, subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments feel free to leave that in the comment section below so stay tuned for more thank you and have a wonderful day bye bye